Right then, it is time to play Firing Blanks. We've got two players taking part today, representing Radio 1, it's Phil Taggart. Hi, Phil. Hi, Matt. How's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. And representing Nesbians the world over, it's Nina Nesbitt. You are right? Yes, I'm really excited. That is the correct answer. <laughs> Don't make it sound like you're here under duress. <laughs> now, if you're not watching this online at bbc.co.uk forward slash Radio 1, firstly, I'm very cross with you. Secondly, get yourself to a screen right now. You'll be able to see that opposite each other are Phil and Nina. They're sat under Underneath balloons filled with water and they've each got staple guns. Now the idea is they're going to put visors on and be asked to fill in the blanks in some questions. You'll then, if you're right, get to fire at your opponent's balloon and try and pop it, covering them in water. If you're wrong, they get to shoot at your balloon. And obviously it goes without saying, please do not try any of this at home. All right, Phil, how excited are you about getting Nina wet today? This is pretty much everything that my life has been building up towards. This, this is the peak. It's all downhill from here, you're saying. 26 years and it's just, this is the pinnacle. Nina, I get a sense from you that you're equally as excited. Am I right? I am. Although, I mean, Phil has supported my music for a very long time, so I feel a little bit bad. But if he soaks me, I will... It's what he wants. He said his life's building up <laughs> uh, to this moment. I'll tell you what, let's, like, fair play. Okay, fair play. A handshake. Play. We'll forget about this. We'll, we'll still play our records and you'll, you'll keep on writing music after okay. this as well, right? Mm, maybe. All right, cool. I'd yeah. like to see a whole concept album just about firing blanks, if that's all right, Nina. <laughs> um, all right, then. Let's play Firing Blanks. It's time for Firing Blanks. First up... Meet my Brazilian friend, Enrique. Now, he went to an English language school in Brazil, which means that his British accent is absolutely perfect. But because he's not grown up over here, a lot of our turns of phrase baffle poor Enrique. He doesn't know what they mean. For example, I asked him what he thought this meant. If I put a banger <laughs> in your mouth, Enrique, <laughs> what would I be putting in your mouth? Some sort of uh, musical instrument that's probably to shut me up. What do you imagine the musical instrument sounds like? Uh, like a drum. So Enrique was wrong, sadly. I was talking about a sausage. He thought I was talking about a musical instrument. So your job is to work out, based on what he says, what the original and well-known turn of phrase was. Have a listen to this, Nina. Just tell me what phrase is Enrique giving his description of? If I told you to... What would I be asking you to do? Stay presentable, you know. You're going to get, you know, a bit excited, just make sure you behave. So, classic turn of phrase, but which one is it, Nina? If you told him to... something... something. You've understood the concept of a blank. That's good. That's a good start. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. Even if I get it right, will it be wrong? No, if you get it right, <laughs> it will be right. Right. Have you ever done a quiz before, Nina? Yeah. Um, sharpen up, maybe? Sharpen up, you think? All right, let's find out what I asked him. If I told you to keep your hair on, what would I be asking you to do? It was keep your hair on, of course. We know that means calm down. He thought it meant be presentable. So, guys, visors on. Does this mean I get to shoot now? This means you get to shoot now. Oh, my God, I feel like Bruce Willis and Die Hard. <laughs> so, do have a little watch. We're streaming this online right now. bbc.co.uk forward slash... Radio 1, get it up on your phone, Phil, careful, not yet. He's firing them into the ceiling like a madman. Sorry, I fired too soon. That was not in the risk assessment. Watch the light. All right, the visors are on. Ready? Aim. <laughs> Fire. Time to get wet, you know. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Nina, how I'm was so that? I'm so sorry, Nina. Talk me through the experience. Do you know what? It's actually been quite hot in London recently, so it's quite refreshing. It's cooling you down, if anything. We're doing you a favour today, right? Yeah, you are. Well, you get a chance for revenge now, because, Phil, it's time for your question. Once again, we've blanked out a well-known turn of phrase, but what does Enrique's description lead you to believe it is? If I was... What would have happened to me? Like, another way of saying I'm... 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 I'm satisfied... <laughs> I don't want to eat anymore. He's full as a horse. Is that a phrase? That, I don't know. I am full as a horse. Well, He's binged on sugar cubes. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you this was the answer. If I was full of beans, what would have happened to me? <laughs> full of beans was the answer, Phil, which means, Nina, it is time for you to fire. This is not so, natural. <laughs> getting shot at. If you want to watch Phil getting drenched, bbc.co.uk forward slash Radio 1. Nina, ready? God. Aim. Get it over and done with. Fire. 
<laughs> oh my word. <laughs> my pants. <laughs> that was a direct hit. Now we should just say, if you're not watching online, <laughs> Nina's... <laughs> Nina's gone for um, some protection today, but Phil is doing this entirely unsheathed, aren't you? You're doing it just in your own clothes. Wait, ah. I forgot to take my wallet out. Forgot to take your wallet out of your pocket. If you're Phil's mobile phone insurer, at this stage, you've not seen this, all right? Yeah, call me. Actually, don't. I'm broke. <laughs> Phil, how are you feeling? Um, damp but happy. Not an unfamiliar feeling, I should well imagine. It's on my Twitter tagline. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get wet. Shall we? Right, it's time for round two. Now, we are all missing Chris Stark not being here between one and four on BBC Radio 1 in the afternoons. But fear not, because he's back doing more of his incredible accents. So, all you have to do is tell me which accent is Chris Stark attempting to do. Nina, we'll start with you. Hey, I'm Chris Stark from The Scott Mills Show, and I'm about to speak in an accent. Now, to make things fair... Chris will be reading from the Gemma Collins autobiography, basically, dot, dot, dot. When the pictures were published, they caused a stir, but it was all positive. They were debated on Matthew Wright's show, The Right <laughs> Stuff, and presenter Anne Diamond said I was cherub-like. So, Nina, what accent was Chris Stark doing? Cornwall, or the... Is it Gloucestershire? I don't know. Okay, you think we've gone that regionally specific. That's so Cornwall specific, yeah. or Gloucestershire, all right? Farmer accent. Are you saying that people from Cornwall have the accents of farmers? No, it's like, uh -oh. do you know when people go farmer? Yeah? Like that. You think it's like that? I need yeah. an answer. Right, right, farmer. You're saying the accent of a farmer. Now, <laughs> you do realise that there isn't a country anywhere called farmland. Can I answer? You can change your answer. Go on then. Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire <laughs> is the accent that you think. I don't even know if that's the right one. Not sure you're doing yourself any favours here, Nina. Remember, if you get this wrong, you will get fired at. Let's find out what accent Chris Stark was actually doing. Hey, I'm Chris Stark from the Scott Mills Show, and I'm about to speak in an Australian accent. What? That was it was Australian. Australian. That was his Australian accent. Could he not even say something more specific, like put a shrimp on the barbie? No, or? that's why he's reading from Gemma Collins' autobiography. Oh, Otherwise, it'd give it away, wouldn't it? If you went, hi, I'm an Australian person, <laughs> that wouldn't be very good. Or in his case, all right, I'm an Australian person. How, how do? Um, I'm afraid, Nina, you got that wrong, which means it's time, Phil, for a firing. I don't think Chris Stark could actually point Australia out in a map. He's not here to defend himself. All he knows is Watford, and that, that's about it. Right, Nina, you've got your visor on. Phil, you've got yours on as well. It goes without saying, do not try this at home. All right, the balloons are suspended. You can watch the carnage unfold at bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one. Phil, ready, aim, fire. <laughs> right, let's do it. Do you prefer coming in there? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me, that was a direct hit. Are we still friends? I don't know. Oh, Thanks, Matt. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Look, we can kiss and make up later on. We'll keep the cameras rolling for that too. Right, Phil, it's your turn to work out what accent is Chris Stark doing? Hello, I'm Chris Stark <laughs> from The Scott Mills Show and I'm about to speak in a... Accent. Here it comes. This should be good. I was doing more scenes that involved Mick, including the famous scene where I baked him an apple pie. We all remember that scene, though. It's famous, legendary scene where an apple pie was baked by Gemma Collins for a man called Mick. But what accent was Chris Stark doing, Phil Taggart? Uh, any answer I'm going to give is going to be mildly offensive to the place that I give it to. Go on, then. With an accent like that. Um, I'm going to go... German. Let's find out. Hello, I'm Chris Stark from The Scott Mills Show and I'm about to speak in a New York accent. <laughs> it was, of course, the famous of New course. York accent. Pop your visors on and if you're not watching this, it's your last chance. Get yourself to the Radio 1 website, get it up on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, gather strangers around. You're giving me an evil look as well. That gun eerily suits you. Ready. Aim. I didn't say fire I yet, Nina. TV. Sorry. A little bit uh, <laughs> trigger happy there. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just listening to this, what not watching, that was that was Phil Taggart screaming. <laughs> oh, Phil! I didn't know you could reach such high notes. That was amazing. If you had water that cold being poured into your pants, you'd scream as well. Where is it? Where's it settled on the body, Phil? The island of manhood. 
it's been flooded. Okay, <laughs> fine. Nice and cryptic. I'm sure no one can possibly work that one out. Uh, Phil, Nina, thank you both so much for playing. Have you enjoyed the experience? Yeah, I've loved it. It's, it's been the worst highlight. experience of my life. My <laughs> thank you, Phil. Very on message. Nina, you need to improve. Nina, can we still be friends? I think we can, Phil. Come see us at 10pm the midnight. All right. We'll, we'll be nicer to you than this. Thank you. So that was Firing Blanks. Thank you very much for watching it on YouTube. If you liked it and would like to see more Firing Blanks, then hit subscribe now. And then when we do another one, it'll get delivered neatly to you like a lovely present. Go on, click it. 